It feels like it's been a minute since we've been able to talk about some transfer portal stuff for Auburn men's basketball. We finally have that new commitment. Let's talk about who it is and what it means for Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers. War Eagle and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle here at E2C Network where we share the whole Auburn experience. As you're watching or listening today, be sure to drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts as we're sharing ours. Very quickly, I wanna give you a heads up about our friends at Alumni Hall. As you may know, we have just started partnering with them as an affiliate of theirs. And since it's a basketball topic today, I'm even wearing one of their basketball shirts, as you can see pictured on screen right now too. You can find this, many other options as well, either online at alumnihall.com or in their stores across Alabama. Be sure to give them a look to find your basketball and other apparel related to the Auburn Tigers, and of course, support them so you can help support us. I know we were all getting a little bit restless while it seemed like more people were leaving the program than were actually coming in. Well, now we finally get to talk about someone to make everybody feel a little bit better. Your new addition to the Auburn Tigers is Chad Baker Mazzara coming to us from Northwest Florida as a junior effectively with two years of eligibility. I think I've got all that correct. It gets pretty confusing these days. Let's talk about the timeline of events that brought us to the point of his commitment today. Now he did start his time at Duquesne University where he had a pretty good start there which allowed him then to transfer up to a pretty prominent basketball program these days in San Diego State, where he had a very good season for them. Some academic issues did arise, so he did now have to go spend the next season, his last season before arriving here, at Northwest Florida Community College, where he still did great there. And after some interest from some other players out there, Auburn came into the mix very, very quickly to go and get him on a visit and grab him and eventually get his commitment. Now let's talk about some facts about this particular player so you know who Auburn is getting. Originally from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, he did play his high school basketball though at Spire Academy in Ohio. He's listed at about six foot seven, 190 pounds. You're gonna see him listed somewhere in these phraseology of swingman, of sharpshooter, a perimeter player. Effectively, he could be a guard or a forward. I just like to call them small forwards. Now let's talk about a few stats that you might wanna know about this particular player. He did start a lot at his first season at Duquesne. When he went over to San Diego State though, that's where he really came into prominence, even coming off the bench for a lot for them there. In fact, it earned him the sixth man of the year award for the Mountain West Conference. That continued over at the JUCO level in this last season. Below, you'll see listed some of his stats from the season. I'll point out 32 total games, 15.2 points per game, a 36.9 three-point percentage, and you know I love this one, 83.5 from the free throw line. A few storylines around our commitment. The interesting thing about this is how quickly all of this transpired. And a lot of people are gonna point out that Auburn missed out on a bunch of quote unquote better options. And whether or not that's the case is besides the point. The fact of the matter is this is somebody that a lot of people had interest in, prominent people, Texas A&M, Creighton, and even the night of his commitment just before that started receiving calls from Kentucky which is pretty interesting and should make you raise your eyebrow just a little bit. So a lot of people wanted him. The other thing to keep in mind, as we mentioned, he did have some academic issues at San Diego State, which made him go the JUCO route for that one year. Everybody makes mistakes and can improve, and we trust that he'll handle his business here. Now that you know a little bit about the player, let's talk about what it means for Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers, specifically about their numbers for this 2023 cycle for recruits and transfers. This is the third transfer, but it also is four overall in this cycle, counting Aiden Holloway, who's already come in as a traditional recruit. At his specific position, if you want to characterize him as a small forward, it makes him the second small forward in this class. Now let's talk about his playing opportunities when he arrives at campus. And we always like to look at the depth chart for this. Particularly, we know some of the names that have left most prominently, Alan Flanagan of recent, and he pretty much is going to fill his position. You still got effectively the Yuan Treor spot that you need to fill out there. But obviously there's maybe some other options on the table and he's not gonna fill that traditional power forward role. You've also got to keep in mind at his position, you've got guys like Chris Moore who are still gonna be here. So it's not that he's gonna come in and find a lot of maybe starting time, but I'm sure that he's gonna play a lot for Bruce Pearl. Very quickly, let's talk about where he comes from in terms of creating recruiting pipelines for the Auburn basketball team to utilize. 
I don't foresee us using that Dominican Republic connection that he has all that often, but you never know. But the fact that he comes from Ohio is pretty interesting because Ohio is traditionally built a lot of great basketball products in their high school system. So we'll see if that pays any dividends down the line. And lastly, let's talk about what this commitment means for the recruiting cycle of 2023 and the roster overall. As we mentioned, he's effectively filling the Allen Flanagan role. You wonder if Auburn's gonna go out and get maybe a bigger forward type of guy to fill the Yuan Treor position, but you're still wondering about people like Janai Broom still coming back from the NBA draft process. And then Jalen Williams entered that too, and I don't think he's effectively announced anything yet. But those questions are still out there right now. Basically, at his position with two small forwards now here, Feels like we're good at that skill set, but there's probably still room for more others in other areas. So that's my thoughts on your brand new commitment. Chad Baker Mazzara would love to know your thoughts about him in the comments section below. Be sure to do that. It helps enter you into that ongoing subscriber giveaway. And as always, do make sure you check out the links in the description for ways that you could support Alumni Hall and us and keep the lights on here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.